I seriously did not anticipate how much anxiety this process would cause me. I mean, I just, I didn't think I had a problem with holding on to stuff, but I knew I didn't like to get rid of stuff, but. Hi, my name's Joe Brett. My amateur radio call sign is Kilo 5 Yankee Vector Yankee K5YVY. And I've got a little old ham shack here. It's an 8x12 shack, and I've been collecting a lot of stuff. And man, it's time to clean this baby out, make it like a new space. Wife's going to help me. We're going to get this thing looking pretty again, maybe. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm excited to try. Notice that little love tap that she gave me with the elbow there. I already had laid out to get out. Hello, I am Noel Joseph. It's my husband, and he is a ham shack hoarder. It has been a disaster in the shack since I got it. And if it was up to me, I would pull a dumpster up to it and just chunk everything and start over. It's a eight by 12 shed, and I've got six feet of carpet. So we're gonna carpet the uh, ham radio side of it. The other side's 3D printing workbench kind of thing for now. So uh, I figured it'd make more sense putting it on the ham radio side, but what a project because I've hoarded a lot of stuff over the years. You got nowhere to put it. I done started putting stuff in my parents' storage shed. I don't think I put anything in the house. But it's uh it's gotten a little too claustrophobic, a little too out of control. So we're gonna try to get some stuff out tidy up a little bit so anyway ride along some more he has stuff that he has kept for 16 years going through while we were cleaning he was like oh I might use this and I'm like you haven't used it in 16 years just throw it away But to me it's trash, to him it's treasure. So, took a while. Um, he had a few moments where he was a little overwhelmed, a little frustrated, but we got through it. We're making progress. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I thought it would be easy just to clean out the shack. But every time I found something to get rid of, didn't want to get rid of it. 
we got this little lizard that's obviously enjoying the shed. I don't know if he's been living, I think he's been living in there for a little bit. Cause every now and then I'll hear something rumbling around. Anyway, this little dude sitting down on the floor trying to, he about went up in shorts, man. Jeez. So then uh, Noel was cleaning some more stuff out from under the desk and <laughs> she about had a heart attack. She thought it was a snake, Ooh. but. Here we go again, weekend number two, cleaning out the shack. Noel's in there vacuuming up for me. And then we're gonna lay this carpet down. completely clean it out and give him a brand new shack and just have everything organized labeled for him but with him being the hoarder that he is I feel like that's gonna take a really long time but he's made progress and I'm proud of him so we'll see how it goes
and if it was up to me I would pull a dumpster up to it and just chunk everything and start over All right, well, we've done it in a couple weekends. We got a bunch of stuff moved out and a lot more moved back in. We didn't get rid of a little bit of trash, right? But anyway, I think it's a big improvement. You've seen some of the shots of the floor, the new carpet. I still got to work on all the shelving and, and you know stuff that's off the floor. But thank you to this wonderful lady for keeping me from going crazy during this process. Look at her. <laughs> if it was up to her, she'd just back a dumpster up, throw it all away, and start all over. True. <laughs> I know. We heard it a couple times. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see another one, then click right there next to her. And appreciate you coming by. 73.